She, she really, wow. This is not acting. This is, this is real. But she's gonna break some ribs, even if it's amateur, just to see. But I would love to see her in a kickboxing match now. Hello. So, my name is Brennan, I'm from the United States. I am a Marine combat veteran who has fought in Afghanistan twice. Now, I live in South Korea where I am a pro MMA fighter. Oh, the comedian fighter? Yes, I remember her. She's pretty strong, yeah, she's really strong. Yeah, she's a really beautiful woman. I definitely did had, had, had a crush. Definitely had a crush, for sure. Oh, that hook was powerful. If it would have connected to Sun Gun's chin, he would have got stunned. That's why Sun Gun was like, whoa. Because he, he respected the power because he knew when she threw it, things like that, the way she threw it in the, the hook was really, really, really good. So he was like, whoa, he didn't expect that. So, you know, seeing Sun Gun be able to train with her and things like that was really, really good. Oh. In Korea is where I became a professional fighter and debuted it. But in the States, I was a kickboxer. And in Korea, I noticed that kickboxing styles differ from different gyms. However, in America, the kickboxing style that I have, it differs from different states. Like, my style of kickboxing is really uh, close to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in the UFC. We have that traditional karate style of kickboxing. It's unorthodox and it's different, but it's effective. I actually have some footage right here wow. of me actually doing kickboxing as well. Ooh, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out. I know him. Kim Min Sook, Nae Jung Coach him. He was my uh, first kickboxing coach and training partner at times. Yeah, he's he's a really good kickboxer. She, she really, wow. From one people that don't really know is like the up kick, when you threw the up kick, especially in kickboxing, you have to really thrust your hips. Her style of doing the kick is more Muay Thai versus actually kickboxing. Uh, kickboxing do the same thing, but my style of kickboxing, the kick is gonna be a little different. However, the way she thrusts her hips up a little, you can tell, is she's using her hips to come up and push out. That was a really, really good kick. And her foot, when her foot, when she did the foot, she did a slight 45 degree turn. So when she did a slight 45 degree turn and used her hips to actually thrust up and actually push out, that gains the uh, momentum of actually sending him back. No, not acting at all. This is not acting. This is this is real. Because uh, one, uh, you can tell when he actually made contact with her, he didn't know how strong she actually was at that time. He knew she was strong, I'm, I assume, but he didn't know how powerful it actually was. And he's a strong kickboxer. Like, it's hard to really... When, even when I was throwing kicks, it was hard for him to actually be affected by it because he's he's really good kickboxer. It is really difficult. It's gonna be it's gonna come as a shock because many people in Korea knows me as a grappling type of guy when I was originally a striker in the states. So I'm gonna explain firsthand how difficult it is for someone first time. In order to able to nail that kick properly, you have to judge your distance, timing, and judge the actual speed of when they're coming in. For example, if I'm here and he's there. So if he's running really fast, you gotta see if you can throw the knee up. The moment you throw the knee up, then the kick is gonna come in because all you gotta do is extend. So if you, he's running really fast and you throw it up, you're gonna clash. But if he's running really fast and you throw it up already, you can just extend, boom, he flies back. So for her first time, that's actually really impressive. I have, and I said, I said it before, I say it again. She's not a beginner. She has some type of training. That kick takes a lot of practice to do. It's not like a kick, you just throw it up. The way she did it, her pivot, her hip thrust, her judging her timing, and she's not a beginner. I said it once, I said it before, she's not a beginner. No, he didn't let her go. I think he really flew. Exactly, yeah. I personally know him, personally, I trained with him. He didn't let her have that, like, he flew. Leg press, 340 kilogram. I think it's right to fly when she, when, when she, when he's kicked. 340. That's a lot of uh, leg pressing weight. So for someone to press that amount and plus, if you add that plus the actual technical part of her actually doing the kick, it's only fair. Like anyone will fly. I'm pretty sure even another heavyweight will fly, even if it's not far. He's gonna fly back a bit because of that 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 muscle plus the actual technical that she went into with actually throwing her kick, anyone would fly. Now someone like me, she kicks me, she's gonna break my ribs, but I'm gonna go back really far. <laughs> I come to see who's going to break because PD is teaching the final weapon on the <laughs> The final weapon. 
<laughs> she's really skilled. Like, I, again, I would love to see her. Now, I, I, will, I wanted to see her in an MMA, even if it's amateur, just to see. But I would love to see her in a kickboxing match now. The kick was really, really, really good. Oh my gosh. So in kickboxing, there are many ways to actually cup the back of the neck for a knee kick. It depends on the style in the gym. In Road FC, the gym, the style was cupping the back of the head. And this one, which is what we use as well, sometimes we grip here, coming in. And another one is here as well, cupping the neck. So there's different ways of grabbing the head and the neck to be able to bring in for the knee kick as well. Uh, Maybe depending on if the person is strong or not. So for a woman, it really depends on the height. If the, obviously if a woman is really short and the guy is really tall, you can't grab the neck. But if they're like the same size, if she gets a hold of the neck and not only get grab the hold of the neck but actually put in here, that's trapped. So all she has to do is just bring bring the elbows close as well, close as well. So when she's bringing his head down, then she can actually throw the knee. If she grabs a hold of the neck and actually use the same technique of actually, because people can just grab a head and like this, it's not gonna do anything. When you grab and cup the back of the head or grab the neck as well, you lock it in, lock it in, bring it in, throwing knees. I honestly think she's not a beginner, but I think she is first learning this for the first time. She does, re she does really well. Ooh, and even the, the rhythm of kicking it, the rhythm of her feet, because like a lot of people, they think like just one, to most people who don't really understand about throwing rapid knee kicks, rapid knee kicks, like with the rhythm, you have to one, two, three, four. So for me to see her doing the rhythm that quickly, first time, it's really impressive, really impressive. So once she actually uh, learns how to thrusting up her hip a little more with the knee, oh my gosh, she's gonna kill someone. <laughs> she's gonna kill someone. <laughs> because that amount of strength plus the power of the lifting up the knee, She's gonna break some ribs. I would, I would much rather break my arm getting hit by her knee than to get hit in the ribs. Yeah, she's definitely strong. She's really strong. Oh, cable tie, I, I know. It's a special breaking. I think I've seen a UDT video do that before. So cable ties is really difficult to break unless you don't know what you're, unless you know what you're doing, they're really difficult to break. You can't just like, mm, especially if it's tied well, so wow. I'm really impressed with her. Like, honestly, I wish someone would schedule a fight. Like, at least an amateur fight. I want to see her actually in an actual setting throwing that because under my old uh, coach and trainer in the States, he used to always say anyone can be a pad star, uh, a, a, hitting, a hitting pad star, but it usually uh, is put to the test when you're actually stepping in. So I know she's really strong. I know she's really technical. But it would be nice to actually see her in a very controlled setting, seeing you know her test herself with everything that she picks up on really fast. And I honestly, in my heart, 100%, I believe she will win. Not only I believe she'll win, I believe she will definitely hurt the person that she's going against. Today we watched Kim Young with her kickboxing. I am really impressed with how technical she actually was. I was really impressed with that one above all of it because it was so technical. And for her to nail it the first time it is something that is not easily accomplished. I really am impressed and I really hope she will compete someday. Hopefully we can train someday when I fully recover through therapy. Anyway, so if you like this video, be sure to comment below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the future. Bye.